parishioner, it's good to be with you again. You all know what this is. Gold. Perhaps worth more than gold this, these days. So I wanted to do just a little reflection on good old-fashioned toilet paper. For over a millennia, this has been a part of uh, humanity's existence in one way, shape, or form. I think it's only the past 100 and some years, 130 years or so, that we've had this familiar form. And this has brought comfort. It's been a luxury of the wealthy now. It's as commonplace as bread and anything else the rest of us have as a uh, part of our daily lives. But what's kind of saddening is I hear that it, now it's become a, a source not of comfort, of daily comfort, but of daily contention. So I thought maybe there's something there that we can talk about. Kind of a theology of toilet paper, or you could say a theology of bread or oil, because I understand all of these are now in short supply and people are running to the grocery stores to acquire them. These daily things that are so easy to take for granted, like toilet paper. So instead of this being a source, unfortunately, of these days of contention, uh, I think it's good for us to see toilet paper and all these little daily things that we now miss or we long for or we rush to the store for as a cause of something not con not contention but as a cause of something that we all need that this world needs greatly and as a cause uh, for gratitude a little backstory to this the reason i'm talking about toilet paper gratitude is because of a personal experience that I had. It was 2012, 13, I was up in Williston with my good friend, Father Russ Kolbash, and I was the associate there during the boom, a lot going on. Well, it was a beautiful time for me spiritually reconnecting with the Lord, uh, and I had just come off, uh, it was the end of a, of a very, very powerful retreat at the Richardson Abbey, and I uh, went to confession to him. And during the course of the retreat, he didn't know it, but during the course of the retreat, God was just showing me. I had been a priest almost four years, and there had been ups and downs, but he just brought me to this point of what's essential. You know, looking forward, okay, you guys know this in your lives, some of your dreams and hopes. Things look different than we had originally planned you know, on our wedding day or ordination day. So he brought me to a point where I had to really reflect what is essential. And the Lord said, just look back. Not at what went wrong. Look back at what went right. And so he stirred up in me the grace, which I now know. Uh, and I'm grateful for, of gratitude. And how important, Pope Francis talks about this often, about how important it is for us to remember the good. The devil wants us to remember the bad. God wants us to remember the good and to praise him and thank him for it. So at the end of this, this retreat, at the end of this beautiful confession of eight days, really glorious days, with the Lord, Father Koa said, here's your penance. So you got a rosary, right? I said, yeah, you're going to have me pray a rosary. That's fine. I think I'd already prayed one that day, but all right, no. He said, I'm not going to have you pray a rosary. The way you normally prayed, he said, on every bead of this rosary, he said, I want you to thank God for one thing, or one person. He said it could be anything. And then the grace that I'd been receiving in that retreat started to fill me. And he said something that locked it all in for me. And he said, don't forget to thank God for toilet paper. And we chuckled, we had a chuckle. And in that chuckle, in that, that moment of delight, of laughter, I realized how right he was. That When was the last time I thanked God for toilet paper? I was 33, 34 years old. I had it every day of my life. I don't think we ever ran out. And I never once thanked God for it. So his challenge to me and my daily challenge to myself is that we can begin to see in the little things of the world, and we have a great opportunity in front of us right now, to see that God wants to express his love for us through the littlest things. This is his gift, and what a gift it is. This is God's gift. Thank you for toilet paper, for running water, for heat, for the beautiful day that we have today. But to get back to basics, especially in, time, in times like these that are challenging, to get back to the basics. And so my personal challenge to myself each day is to thank God, to not let a day go by where I don't thank him for 10 things, people, places, occurrences, little graces throughout the day, even challenges which become moments of grace. It's the cross which gives uh, a rise to the resurrection. 
So his challenge uh, to me that day, Father Kovash, is last with me, and it was one of those retreat graces that I never wanted to end. And so, uh, unfortunately, some days it's hard to find 10 things to be thankful for, to carve out just a few moments at the end of the day, or the next morning and look back on the previous day at those, those grace moments. Uh, but let us seize the opportunity as we seize rolls of toilet paper and see in this, and in all the little tiny things of our lives, God's smile, his little I love you, he provides for us in the simplest ways and in times like this, especially, but always. God wants us to see him in all the little things he's provided for us, the electricity that's powering that lamp and bringing us light so we can have this, the phone on which we're filming this, the internet, which brings us and keeps us connected. So let us be grateful. You know, maybe 10 things each day, maybe, maybe more but at least something each day, especially the little things. Let us always be grateful and share that gratitude with one another, knowing our spouses and our children in these times. <laughs> it's probably some tension at home. I understand. We hear about it. But to say thank you, God, for the gift of my life, for the gift of my family, for the gift of toilet paper, and to share that with our loved ones, our friends, and our family. God bless you. We're with you in these days, and you remain always in our prayers.